Hello there, my name is Elisha and today I want to show you uh, how to use the new Twitter API after they upgraded, you know, every code that I wrote earlier on became invalidated because, you know, you can't run them anymore without authentication. So today, I'm going to help you set up the environment, you know, download whatever libraries you need and set up or create an account on Twitter. That is not the regular account though, like the Twitter account is different from you know is I'm not referring to the tweeting account that you use I'm referring to the developer version of it so you'll have to create an application inside the developer uh, section of the of the Twitter uh, website so now though before I do that a few you know weeks ago or precisely May that the 30th this year I created a post on how to uh, use the Twitter API which is version 1 and I used it to make to, you know to see what people were saying about John Buena. John Buena is a speaker of the house is in Washington and he likes to cry but that's not the most important thing. The most important thing to learn here is to see what people are saying about him. So instead of going to Twitter and searching one line at a time, you can just like write some code and look very much like cooler cooler than everybody else, you know. So this is the simplest code I wrote a few days, you know, a few months ago, and the results were very interesting. The final results here, people saying different things about the Republican uh, Speaker of the House. So that being said, we need to uh, set up the application right now, and in order to do that, we need to visit the Twitter developers page. And I already have my account uh, with Twitter that I use to, you know, tweet stuff every time and uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and visit so I'll go ahead and visit the regular Twitter account just to show you and then so from the uh, the home page for example so from the home page for example all you need to do is look to your left here and the bottom and you'll see the developers so if you click on uh, developers here you'll be taken to the developer page right now if you click on your profile here or just hover it it will show my applications and if you click that it will give you uh, a, an option if you don't have any applications you can create a new one and you just say click create a new application and you fill up the information here so you just need to fill up this information and I'm going to fill this up and I don't want you to keep waiting I'll just you know uh, pause the video for now so I have supplied the name of my application and you can call it whatever you want this is just for testing right now and even you are serious about building a real application you might have to think about a name that fits your needs now the other thing is the website I'm also supplying the name of my website and you can leave the call back for now we don't really want to worry about that the next thing is to uh, to accept the developer rules of th of the road, as they call it. So you just check that box, and then once you are done with that, you need to use this capture to prove that you are a human being. So you just type in whatever you see there. After doing that, you click uh, create my application, and I hope I typed in the correct capture there. Uh, and that's right, I did I did actually type the correct uh, capture, whatever there. Now. You you will see you will be taken to the application page and all you need to see there is a uh, you have to be very you know keen on what this is the OAuth settings the, like authorization settings this is what you will need to write your uh, your your Twitter ap application or your Twitter client you need a consumer key and you'll also need the consumer secret this is a this is secret you have to keep this secret so you don't have to look at mine right now but. Uh, this is what I mean. So just keep this somewhere, type them and save them somewhere that you will remember. And um, again, just remember this page and keep it closer to you. And uh, you can always refer back to it anytime you want. So once you are done with that, we are actually uh, one step closer to, uh, to 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 finishing the setup now. So. In order to, to, to do the setup, to finish the setup, we need something called uh, a Twitter API tool or a Python Twitter tools rather because I'm using Python programming language to do this. So that means I'll need uh, an, a library that actually uh, works with 
Python. So they have so many libraries out there for Python, different languages, and uh, so I'm going to use one called Twitter. Huh? It couldn't be far from that, isn't it? So we just get that, and in order to use this library, though, you need to install it. In order to install it, you have to do something. Uh, in Python, you use a package installer, and I'm going to do something like this here. So I'm going to go to the command line. I've already set up my Python programming stuff. So I'm just going to say uh, pip install uh, Twitter. And I've already installed this. So you might see that yeah, you've, you know, I've this thing already satisfied. The requirement has already been satisfied. That means I've already installed it. So that means I can actually use it. And just prove that I can use it, I'm going to type you know in in my uh, idle shell here i'm going to say to say um from python import uh rather from twitter import import everything from that and again you see i don't get an error here so if there wasn't that library already installed in the packages uh i would be getting an error like this first one here so right now everything is set up and we are ready to go so in my next video, I'll be showing you how to uh, make some requests to Twitter and get some really cool stuff going and uh, have a lot of fun. So I hope you have you had a lot of fun. And in general, all you need to do is create an, uh, an application on uh, on Twitter on the developer page of Twitter, and then remember to save uh, the consumer key, the consumer secret, and some of the other you know uh, access tokens and all that just remember to keep this page uh, to yourself don't show the world you might have to create something called your access token and you can create it by just clicking that button once you're done with that then all you need to do is install uh, a library called twitter or other libraries that work with python once you're done with that just go ahead and uh, fire up your um, your idle or your interactive shell and try saying from twitter import you know star and make sure that you don't get an error so next time we'll pick up from there i hope you had a good day